Hello, my name is Kuzey Kantarcholu, and today I'm here to talk about a certain object detection model that may be used to empower computers to do much more. Now, um, to start with, I'd like to define what computer vision is. Despite its uh, unique name, computer vision is an actual interdisciplinary science field relating to computer science. It aims to give computers the high-level understanding from digital images and videos that human may, uh, humans may infer, and it gives, aims to give computers uh, the ability to automate tasks relating to the human visual system, such as object detection, object tracking, and action detection. Now, today we will focus on object detection, which aims to answer two primary questions, mainly where is the object and what is the object? Now, humans, when they see a dog or, say, a water bottle, may just indicate where it is and say, oh, hey, that's a dog. But computers need special training to be able to do that. Computer technology that can detect instances of semantic objects in images and videos are using object detection. Now, these uh, semantic objects may, might be anything from trees to cars to human faces to specific people, like celebrities. And YOLO, standing for You Only Look Once, is an algorithm that can be trained to find the location and classification of an object. YOLO v4 is a relatively newer variant of YOLO and is a one-stage detector. Now in the figure you see many uh, probably strange and um, unknown terms such as a one-stage detector and input and backbone and neck. So what this uh, figure shows us is that a computer vision algorithm consists of uh, many structures the backbone and the neck use convolutional neural networks to assign bounding boxes, and then the head does the object detection. So a lot of work goes into these object detection algorithms, but I will not get into the technicalities today. Now, <laughs> moving on to how YOLO v4 works in a very superficial way. The image or the frame is divided into grid styles like chess, and then each grid cell does a forecast of a bounding box which contains the object. And then in each cell, predictions are made and class probabilities are assigned, which basically say, I think uh, that cell contains a dog, uh, for instance. And then the bounding as you can see, there are thousands of bounding boxes uh, in the image above with the dog and the bicycle. But then the bounding boxes are fixed, the unnecessary bounding boxes are eliminated uh, by comparing uh, pr predicted values with uh, actual values and the object's characteristics such as weight, uh, you no know, width and height. Uh, an object this big cannot have a bounding box six the this big for instance moving on why should we use yolo when there are thousands uh, or maybe hundreds of object detection algorithms out there well yolo v4 is real time and fast since it is a one stage detector <laughs> it uses a one stage detector that does the classification and localization uh, processes in one go. And it um, really provides accurate prediction. Also, it is capable of learning if you train it correctly and can be used for many different purposes. And that's why YOLO algorithms are currently commonly used in autonomous vehicles, wildlife, security, and many more fields. But well, as a theory, New technology, uh, YOLO has a lot of potential uh, to be used for good. Real-time computer vision such as YOLO may revolutionize health, medicine, work safety, traffic safety, accessibility, and much more. As you can see, YOLO is already used to detect ambulances. 
and then this may further be used um, for an ambush tracking app, say. Uh, furthermore, YOLO may even detect American Sign Language and recognize uh, what every, each and every sign means. Or it may be used for social distancing purposes and be used in healthcare. Thank you for listening. Thank you to all my mentors and all the people in Repicture who has helped me come this far. And I hope that you got something from this presentation.